Welcome back, folks. It is I, your illustrious host, Lord Zedek T. Gradius Hardo. And as always, it is wonderful to see you all again. Well, for the first time, if you're just tuning in. Is that all? <sighs> Worthless junk? Of course, there's a lock, but I can't pick the lock, and I can't blow up the lock, and I can't punch the lock, and the lock is up there. Anyway, yeah, we just. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Echo. Hey, I'd like to report that I just got mes me mes on cannon. Okay, cool. This. Something in here. All right. Hmm. There we go. All right, so we're all rather buffed. And like, God damn! So we were led here by a distress call. The old man seemed fine to me. My general opinion. All right, uh... That's for sure. I'm here to tell you that we are not all damned. That there is indeed a path to salvation. And AK forty seven by the prophet of Gower Gulch, the great James King himself, before the first bombs fell. Brother, we have been led up that path all the way to heaven by God's second anointed son, Luke Samson, the Red Messiah. And what is this path? How do poor, wretched sinners such as ourselves rise from the filth of this world to the gates of paradise? Why, friends, that is simplicity itself. An easy three-step plan. First, you must turn from sin and strive to live a decent life, following the scriptures of the one true book, the James King version of the Holy Bible. Second, you must encourage others to do the same. And third, when confronted with those who refuse to come to the light, those who are willfully wicked, those who revel in sin and depravity and will not hear the word of the Lord, why those you must cleanse from the world. I'm done with you. Fuck off. Seriously, what is up with these people? Keep talk, talk, talking, talking. <sighs> Hmm. Unlikely they can kill me. No? Huh? No death? Okay. Welcome, General Friends. Word came from Mr. Man. Is you're clear to take whatever equipment you need. I only ask you to keep things in order. Please don't move things around. I keep everything so. Everything is in order? Yes, sir, gentle inquirers. It's 
Damn it! Oh, so freaking close. <laughs> Yep, cat litter. Oh, stun's healed. Take the scrap. Plasma hammer. Anyway, plasma hammer. Now listen to me. Give me this. You're gonna like this. Tell him, my little friend. Okay, so what does awareness do again? One combat initiative. What the hell's manners? Let's just see here. Nice, nice. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right, so where's Mr. Manners? What's in here? Ah, 
Mr. Manus. Pardon my hastiness, but the reason I have some to use is because I have another matter I'd like to discuss. She tore Robson posed a unique danger to oh. Shit, was I supposed to come visit you? I am so sorry. <laughs> About a week later. Sort of later, she'll come back and stop bra barking up our tree. So we need you to help out the angel once more by finding Tori and politely extinguish her life. Of course, you agree you will be handsomely compensated. Do I have an agreement? Sure. Yeah, it is deeply appreciated, Rangers. There is an old hideout a few miles away here where I uh, specifically stay for some private business. Received a tip from our sheriff that Tori may be hiding there. That should be your first destination. Yeah, mark your location on that. Okay. Please be sure to do that. We found a piece of toast. Do you want it? Let's see. The color is a nice golden brown, but the texture is completely wrong. Far from perfect, but I do appreciate the effort. Please, take this and spend it wisely. Really? Looking for Kelly, Gunny. I need to hold on to my limited supplies. You see, I'm quite fond of my cats. They do appreciate a fresh litter almost as much as I appreciate a slice of toast. And uh, they have asked us to tell you that Rodeo is open for trade. That is good news. Rodeo is known for their large reserves of ammunition, something we are always in need of here at the Angel. Tell the mayor that we're interested in his offer, and we will be contacting him soon. What do you know about Fat Fingers? My guest here? I've got I've quite forgotten his name. For real, his real name, and I feel it quite rude to ask him again. It's embarrassing, really. What do you mean by rude? Well, not so much rude, but more effort than I'm willing to expend on one so uncivil. Can we use your radio? You have done the angel of great service, General Travelers. My man Glenn has set up everything for you to attach your mm. signal repeater. Can you go out, Glenn? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Transmitter. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah. Ah, cool. We've already been here. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Congratulations. We've already been here. <laughs> Oh boy, we've already been here. <laughs> oh, we've already been here. Well, um... So we need to go take care of Tori. Huh. Anyway, so let's see here. Oh, there's still some Robinsons about. And so far, no one wants to kill me yet. Right, it's him that we need to get the healing hating element for. Mind you, man, friends, we'll all get along just fine. Now, what can I do for you? What do you know about the... Uh, no, fuck that. You ever heard Arjuna trying to frame someone with banned books? But I politely told him that he had one more chance to clean up his act. Guess he wants to learn the hard way. Thanks, Rangers. We'll take it over from here. Hmm. Huh.
And I don't think there's anyone else that I care about. Not a single person. Let's see, he said we, he needs 24 more pounds of the stuff, and that's... Two more back. Alright, Tori. Your days of bitch are numbered. We got a giant plasma hammer, and we're not afraid to use it. Also, those mess on cannons are freaking... Ugh, man. No, wait a minute. Let's see, my skill in computer science is only nine. If I were to bump that to 10, no, I wouldn't even have a chance. Oh well, might as well bump up my perception. And let's go take care of the bitch. Go on ice big hammer, darling. Ah, right down here. Nah, I'm good. I don't need you people. <sighs> so, let's see here. Aqueduct area. You know, that, sorry, I just realized that I wasn't talking. <laughs> But, yeah, at least I got a use for all that ammunition Slash has. Eh, fuck it. You're, you're out of the way. Okay. You 
Yeah, see? Jesus. Excuse me, I just need to repair the toaster. Toaster repair man coming through. I mean I say I go repair toaster. Right? When I say I go repair toaster. Ah shit. Never mind. Bring my keys ass back up. There you go. Sorry for blowing up your tools. By the way, oh wait, no, they're not gonna attack us out, right? That's good. Oh, Robinson sniper. So we gotta get right into the heat of them. So what do you? So what? You gotta kill me? Still doing that? What that asshole cannibal tells you to do? Don't you realize you gotta be the next one on the plate? Listen, you gotta sigh, seize the initiative and take that bastard out before he has you for dinner. Serious. Forget about me. Go back there now. Now go. Hmm. If we forget you, are you going to come back? What? No, fuck no. I'm done with those losers. They had no vision. They had no fucking loyalty. Did you see how they turned on me there at the end? Fuck them. They don't deserve my wisdom. I'm getting out of this bullshit down and finding some place where people can... Have some brains and balls. So cool. Can I go? Fine. Get the hell out of here. Go, go. Uh, you might want to be careful of your minefield. I put on the buck lava. Huh? Not worth it. It's just not worth it. Nah. Lost my marbles. Heck, they're not even doing anything to me.
Okay, I'm probably going to be able to see as a complete not a simpleton moron. Ah, boy. So, yep, yeah, as we suspected, he's a cannibal. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to call it an episode there for today, folks. You all have a wonderful evening. And as always, I have been your illustrious host, Lord Zedek Tigradius Haru. And remember, I love you all. Good night. And goodbye. God damn, we're gonna have to fight the entire Angel Oracle, aren't I? <laughs>